Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're sitting on the launch pad with the thing we built last time. I don't quite remember what it's called. Uh, Killingly, the shuttle. That's right. And we're going to see if this measly launcher can get it into orbit. Could have added a little bit more struts there. Now if we have to come back and do a version 2, which I really wouldn't be surprised if we did, that will probably encompass solid fuel boosters, a second stage, and also some more people for us to drop off to the, uh, the victory station. But as of yet, this thing's job, oh, Camney looks very, very worried, uh, this thing's job is to go to the victory station, dock, grab our resident, uh, Bill Kerman, and take him out to the cruiser. We'll also be launching one of the bro islets, because, uh, we're gonna need more fuel for our journey to wherever we decide to go next. Try not to hit that limit just yet. We're coming awfully close. Should cross the threshold at about the same time we meet the threshold. Or actually, well, there goes there goes the 200 meters per second thing. That is Minmus way out there. We can continue on our gravity turn that our prograde vector seems to be already taking us on. Looks to me like we're going to have plenty of fuel. I didn't actually put any fuel lines on this, which uh, would have made it more efficient. But oh well, I don't think efficiency really matters with these giant rockets. Oh, very strange sound effects. We're going to keep at this heading. Why are we spinning? Should have put more fins on there to combat the spinning. There goes our exhaust trail. We have less, left the lower atmosphere. Bring our overheat down a little bit, and... As target. Thirteen point two kilometers, not bad for a random attempt. Target. <clears throat> All right, so that is two minutes out, and that two minutes I need to get us lined up for the vector, and also stop us from spinning. For my sake. Stop spinning! Go for goodness sake. I should have put extra reaction wheels on this. That would have helped. Are we ever in space yet? It's 
tempted as I am to uh, cheat my way away from this roll. I won't do it unless I actually have a reason to. Should we in monoprop? We still have quite a considerable amount. I believe the hitchhiker container actually contains some as well. No, it doesn't. I might. I feel like it should. It should store 100 monopropellant because it's big enough for that. Just keep it in a tank under a seat or something. I'm sure there's nothing else important in there. Kerbals apparently don't need life support or anything. The void of their antics use up a lot of monopropellant. Fast forward to our point. Well, we are adjusting very quickly. Pretty soon we're going to lose those two outer tanks very soon, as a matter of fact. Ex excellently executed stage separation. Kamni. Almost forgot who was piloting this for a second. Had to look down in the corner and check. And we're in orbit, and... We are very close to going directly after our target. I, I really can't wait until uh, point two four comes out. I'm I'm waiting to have a, I'm waiting to have to deal with the uh, all the things that the update basically has to throw at us. No, we don't need all this fuel anymore. That's a decent amount of acceleration for a ship like this. Once again, I should have put more uh, nuclear engines on it. Or not nuclear engines. Should have put more reaction wheels. So that would have been nice. You know what, frankly, I think we should be engineering a maneuver. So when we come back around, we will be in an excellent position for an intercept with the station. Oh, I forgot. I forgot one of the biggest rules of how you do this, which is that you are actuating the opposite side. getting farther away, we can bring it back to... Oh, wait. Oh! There's something there. Saw a spark. Spark of life. something. That, uh, node number two right in front of us. Purple one. 
We can do better than that. Well, that is better. That's not better. That is better. Not as good as it could be, though. Let's see what this is actually doing to the orbit here. What on earth is going on here? Something's confused. This game gets quite easily confused about its own physics, so I wouldn't put it past it to say that it is, in fact, a little bit confused. Okay, that's pretty good. Of course, the moment it gets confused, the cracking strikes. So we need to be careful. <clears throat> Could be here at any moment. Or or not. You know, ne you never you never really know. But that technically means any moment. Any moment whatsoever. We could do nothing. And the game will explode in its own in a flash. Oh dear, I saw that piece of debris looming at us and I just had a momentary, I believe my heart skipped a beat, or something similar. Trick. But now that's floating away from us, let's add to the pieces of debris. 1.1. Awesome. Let's go around. Fifty-seven kilometers separation. Something going on with the atmosphere there. It's glitching out the lines. That's a... Oh, it's a commsat. Alright, so we're almost there. Whoa, that's our loading delay right there. That could have been indication enough for us to, uh, turn around and stop. I forgot victory is actually quite large. So it's going to be coming swinging by over here. The maneuver note says it's going to get down to 1.1, so we know it's going to get down to at least 1.1. Possibly significantly lower. Oh. The maneuver note was correct. Should not have been fast forwarding that much in that finicky time frame anyways. Oh well, it's not like we lost that much progress. We're going to make way for the victory station. Try and get our prograde vector pointed in that direction. Canceling out all the accidental sideways velocity that we gave this this ship just a second ago. Which was only, you know, a meter a second or a meter per second or two. More than enough to screw me up. So how fast can we slow down from 7.2 meters per second using only RCS. We're gonna find out once we come within range of the station and also find a place to park. We may need to shuffle some stuff around. I forgot how tedious using this station is and why we don't <laughs> come here anymore. One of these days I'll probably deorbit the thing. But now that we're doing this stuff with Kerbal Cruiser, frankly, this is the this is the kind of late game stuff that I'm really enjoying. 
because it allows us to use all the assets that we put in place, like this station is a, is basically a personnel dump right now, and when we get more, more long distance stuff in orbit, frankly, next time I'm gonna get Kerbal Alarm Plug so we can do more long distance missions, uh, once we have the, uh, the money for them. So we can have multiple Kerbal Cruisers out at once. Doing science on the planets that don't yet have biomes. Switch to here. Figure out where... Oh, but docking port is there. Uh, but... It wouldn't be easy to switch to move around to it. Is this... What else has fuel on board? Tend to jettison this tank in favor of uh, filling this one here, but I wanted to jettison that tank as well. So, I'm really not quite sure. We're gonna have to come around and probably dock to that would be the easiest thing. Or actually, where's a? Uh, is he in here? Or no, he's in here. Bob. Not build its bob. We'll just do this. You've got all your, uh. Yep. Translate sideways and then boost for the ship. Don't worry, your brother Jebediah did something similar not too long ago, except it was a much, much greater distance. So you'll be fine doing this. I'm gonna have you just climb right into the cap, uh, the capsule, alongside Camney. Just like, uh, no, screw it. Where's the ladder on this one? It's in a weird spot. There it is. Whoop. Down. Down. Back. Grab. Board. Alright. So now we have to deliver you. And this guy is gonna stay with the uh, the the ship, actually. That's right. You're uh, you're the first shuttle in the fleet. But they have one that goes to the victory as well and stays there, because you're actually well built. You're you're basically done. Probably I probably couldn't add more to these ships if I wanted to. Alright, no target. This is the new target. Set a target to the Enterprise. It's a very low periapsis in quite an eccentric orbit. Mostly because I'm far too lazy to uh, fix the orbit of it, because it's very clumsy to turn. Wait, no. It'd have to be the orbit before that. Can we do 350 meters a second? You know what, I think we should just normalize his orbit. But let's do that. Switch to... Going back to the Enterprise, guys. The Kerbal Cruiser. 
bum, 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 bum. See, I think we have low fuel, but we have so much fuel. Alright, so we're gonna... We've gotta make an orbit in order to... Essentially, bring ourselves into a decent orbit. Or we've gotta make a maneuver to bring ourselves into a decent orbit. First things first, bringing up our periaps to something reasonable, or something that matches the rest of the satellite systems. This is... This is... Rendezvous 101, guys. That's what this episode is. <laughs> Don't be surprised if it's named that. Just look above you on the title bar, see if my prediction comes true. So we need to bring up our periapsis, so we're pointed in the right direction. Which is fortunate. What is everyone's thing at? Go a little bit more, 125? 130 maybe? Pretty sure the space station's at a 130 by 130. Oh no, it's at a 150. Alright, so that's done. Let's bring it around, just a half an orbit, and we should be facing the correct direction to, uh... slow down. You know, something I just realized, it won't be significant, really, when we're dealing with, uh, well, what we're dealing with, which is tiny pieces of debris, like leftover bits of satellites and stuff. But when you're about to be impacted by a random piece of, of space debris, you will have loading delay as it enters 2.5 kilometers of you. Uh, once again, unless it's something very significant. I don't think you'll really notice it. It'll just be up, the game hiccuped, and then your ship will be in pieces. But I don't know. I feel like that's that's significant. When you have loading delay, maybe you should cut your. <coughs> Actually, that's a thought. When you have loading delay, it should throttle back your time warp. You know, first, firstly, in the case that. You have a uh, you, you have something that you're trying to rendezvous with, or secondly, if something is about to slam into the ship and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't pass directly through it, as time warp makes it. Oh, that's right. We still have stuff in this tank. I'm gonna move everything in one tank because I can. See, fuel transfer like this should be... Well, it is. It's much quicker. Alright, so that makes more sense, the way this is set up now. I'm gonna drop off... You know, another four orange tanks. Yeah. That's that. Try and maneuver them over. The biggest problem with the other thing was uh, the the way that the the blah, RCS was set up. So I need to find the center of mass of the orange tank and the object or and the the busser, and then everything will make sense. I want to get the killing leg over here, but before we do that, we should launch the other ship, just because that's what I'm in the mood to do right now. Right, row I lift. One of the few ships that doesn't have a official designation. Because honestly, I didn't think it was going to work. Alright, so... These things are pretty good on the center of mass. This, however... Frankly, the amount of RCS 
jets that were on that were simply excessive. And I think I said simply, you know, too many times in that sentence. So this should be moved up to about there. And that will give us much greater control and efficiency when, when elliptic. Bro. Something I did notice about this ship was the lack of, uh, launch clamps, which was just basically an oversight. So I'll fix that right now. This ship is one of those that's just plain obnoxious, but you know what, I'm fine with that. Honestly, all of the maneuvering I will get done off camera, so I'll just get this thing in orbit. I might not even rendezvous it, because we've only got 15 minutes left, 15 minutes left in the episode, thereabouts. I just realized something. If I'm going to do this off camera, I need to do the killing the rendezvous first. Because I want to line up. I want to line up the launch of the eyelet to. Uh, oh, I switched to victory. And that one got too far away. Uh, I want to line up the launch to coincide with Enterprise passing over, and in order to create a good intercept. But then if I do that and then come back to this, the two will drift apart in that time. Now it's getting worse. Let's fix that. Oh wait, I saw something. No, that's no good. Uh, where is it? Do I have to catch up to it? I do. Okay. Okay. Other way. So let's bring our periapsis down to an atmosphere brushing 78. And then wait for it to catch up. Oh, whoops. It wasn't even lined up and I hit 10 more. Which should this take about 30 seconds? Because our 30... No, what? 18 seconds. 20 seconds. I'll we'll start it here just in case. Oh, far less than that, as a matter of fact. percent. Now, I need to wait until... Let's mark this intersect 2 with a maneuver. Figure out how many orbits it's going to take for us to be right on top of them. Okay, in this orbit, we actually can... Okay. Hey. I forgot that it doesn't move. It doesn't keep time when you do that. Oh, 
Oh, is that just how it's going to be? Hold on. And I don't mean that in a, is that just how it's going to be sort of way. I just mean it in that this is basically lining up perfectly. And if we tweak this just a little, little bit, it will be excellent. Perfect. Let's find that maneuver node and wait the two hours until it comes by. Ah, there it is. Wrestling nimble. But uh, the next iteration will have a second reaction wheel in it. So. Come on. Ah, there we are. It's on the killingly and bring us the two hours. All right, we can't warp faster than 100x. Just yet, I'll warp 50x during this very low portion that I added in order to let the, uh, or in order to let us catch up to the Enterprise. That's an adjustment of 2,000 meters, just only 2 kilometers to, to bring us into an almost perfect intercept. Go to maximum allowed warp around this upper section. The prize has gotten significantly closer, the victory in the command module and the comp set are falling behind. All these are stuff from Bro I Lift. Some someone's got to go and clean this stuff up at some point. Maybe we should build a a more powerful version of a shuttle to uh, go around and scoop up all the debris and drop it back in the atmosphere. Although I I don't think I I just don't think I'd have the patience for that. I'd much rather keep it all up there in case it eventually slams into something. Although actually no, the ideal would be. That, uh, you know, the, the hoped for ideal would be that, uh, I can get to them and mark them as debris, so they aren't cluttering up the map, but I still have the possibility of, of, uh, you know, reenacting gravity. It should be just one more orbit around. Maybe two. After we hit the node, I think it should be just one more. Based on the way time is going by. Yeah, just like that. So orbit's pretty tight. All oh, right, it's showing me what's happening in real time now that we've caught up to where the maneuver node is. We are on the orbit as the node. We are on the same orbit as the node, rather. Don't know what that dotted line is supposed to be, but something's broken again. Very nearly caught up to it now. Oh, that's right, because we actually... okay. I think we actually had a different intercept in there, another good one. But, uh, I'll take the one that we set up. Alright, so 0 0.9. Uh, we'll get over there and then we'll figure out what our relative velocities are. Once we get there. Target, that's right. Alright, and our retrograde node is right there. So let's just turn towards it real quick. 
is the Enterprise about uh, half or the loading delay will occur halfway between us and them, just about. There it is. Ah, a quick little flyby of sorts. Time warp down to one. Got to kill 120 meters per second. As he drifts away. Like the desert sand. The parts on this thing, I'm not sure how many parts this thing has. But the parts on this thing are actually going to make this run a little bit. Or well, when I go to do the fuel, I get a little bit or even more difficult, rather. Should have started doing that earlier. I didn't calculate how long it would take to get rid of that many uh, meters per second of delta V. You can still see it very clearly off in the distance there. Even the RCS can't turn this thing much more quickly than it, can, they, than it can already turn on its own. Which is why I think another reactor wheel is definitely in order. Even though, as, as many people have said, that the reaction wheels in this game are ridiculously overpowered, but I don't think anyone's complaining about it. Uh, turn this way. No, 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 Where are we going? Where are we pointing? That's better. Like that. Do boost slightly in this direction. That's right. Do that. Oh wait, no, no, I've got to actually spin this around because we're going to be using the docking port on the back here. Whoop, that's right. We're going to actually fly by the ship. For sake, keep going. Actually, jumped a little bit closer there. Are we not close enough to click on it yet? Yeah, we're not close enough to it yet. So. I assume we're going in the right direction now. When is close enough? Is it 200 meters? I can mouse over it, I can see it lighting up. Let's try it at 200. Two or five. We're almost there. Oh! Perhaps it was 205. 
Well then. One meter per second. What is that? Cruiser body. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try and park this thing. Almost like this, relative to it. So that the engines are facing backwards along the uh, outer side here where the docking ports are. Alright, I forgot the science packages. We need to design those. We'll do that next episode. And I'm, I'm not... I'm probably not going to record the fuel delivery, or I might not even do it this now because I've realized I forgot about the science packages and the landers. Uh, no, you know, I can do the fuel first. I, I probably should have done the fuel first after I brought this thing into orbit, because now we're just going to be adding parts to it, and maneuvering those enormous canisters is bad enough. Maneuvering them with the amount of parts that causes ridiculous lag is considerably worse. And this thing already is, is bad enough, with the cruiser on its own. didn't jump. I can this for time warp. I normally never use it in such close proximity to much of anything, but... We get a refuel if we dock at the station. But I don't care that much. Still move a little bit extra. Should fold away these solar panels. Don't think I bound them to a hotkey. I might have been too lazy or too forgetful. I know in most in most cases I'm both, so you know that's that. All right, so almost being very careful. We're we're doing it Scott Manley style. We should be directly on the other side if we're if we're really that lined up. In in my from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like we're that lined up, but I'm gonna trust the instruments on this one. Something like this is is as as most of us have learned in the playing of this game, this stuff is very, very tough to eyeball. Once you learn how the uh, nav ball can really help you and stuff like this, you don't even need, you know, your docking assistance or anything. I 
We need some mech jab. We've got the nav ball. The good old fashioned standard issue nav ball. Well, we did something. I think we knocked our engines on it. Got a little bit too close there. You're close. Come on, magnets. Yes! Alright, and the official shuttle is now attached to the Kerbal Cruiser Enterprise. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next week, and hope you've enjoyed the video. Train Man out! <laughs>